here, the triangle of the masons. Closer look at that one, the entrance. See, there's a lot of place to park, all these Freemasons coming here. So it just starts snowing. My sandals. <laughs> so it here it says something in Latin. Uh, Asse avanza, asse fortuna passa. So who? He or she who passes here, underneath this here, will have a good good luck. So these are the two sisters here, women. There are nine balls here in the crown. So this is the nine sisters of Isis, I think. Just like the other chateau, just near here. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's interesting. It says on top, Le Suisse Grolé. Swiss, like Swiss, uh, Switzerland, you know, in French. And that means the Sisters of Isis. Well, there they are. Ah. And on the other side, there's th this weird, all these statues here. Quite weird. I mean, why, why put all the, you know, well, I know, it's the, the world domination. It's funny, in the Middle Ages, they already knew that the Earth was round. So we're in the south of France, it's spring, it's snowing, my feet are cold. <laughs> so, you know, but these are all highlands, it's called Le Massif Central, it's all like a thousand meters high. It's the same where I come from in South Africa, you know, like if you go to Joburg, it's all highland, you know. So that's why it gets cold in, the, uh, in winter. Oh, same here. So a lot of snow in springtime in the south of France. Still lying a lot of snow there. There there. Yeah. So here too, this is older in the, the coat of arms. There are the nine balls here, the nine sisters of Isis. And here the Freemasonry Triangle. This is old, this is, well, I don't know how old, Middle Ages. But at least here... <coughs> oh dear. If they, um, if they're having, at least here you can't, you can't hear the, the children cry, you know, if they're having their Freemason, the Freemason parties. You don't hear any children crying here, it's all forest, mountains around here. Yeah. Just before the uh, the sun was shining, so now we've got all this here. So we're here, Cerveret. We just passed with the car. All the windows are closed. Freemasons always have this, you know. It's, uh, it's quite occult here. It's a bit of an octagon here. Uh, the pentagram, like in a, and the Templars cross. So, a lot of occult symbols on it. Yeah. There, here's the, the sun hieroglyph in a way, in another form. There are two, uh, two pillars here. So, this is quite occult here. Just hidden, hidden between all the other houses here. I don't think there's many more people living in it. No, it's all you know, for sale. No. So this is a cannon of the First World War. So they're celebrating it all over the First World War because it's been 100 years. The, uh, it's even wood on it. So here, one guy sitting here, putting his feet here. And the other one sitting there, and 
and um, well, you know, uh, with the horses in front, you know, two guys like uh, steering the horses, or there's the famous French soldier. There's another village here. Saint Alban, Saint Alban. Bloody cannon. This is the entry of the castle of Saint Alban. The Templars V there. And uh, well, Very Masonic, eh? Nice door. <laughs> so there's a castle here. Well. Just another castle. There are castles everywhere. So, quite tiring. <laughs> so that's the Pyramid Hill. Grez. And there's even people living there. Maybe there's a pyramid. Who knows? Something underneath here. And that was the castle where, where we were just before. Yeah. A lot of people living around the pyramid. In the middle of nowhere. This is called the uh, Gorsh du Tam. Another castle, it's full of castles here. So the entrance of the castle, we see these round things again, like in Yanukovych's his Swiss palace. It's, you know, here too. Everywhere where the aristocracy is. <clears throat> This is a labyrinth, you know, they're like running around here, you, s you see me, no you see me not, come and get me, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Bloody, no, well, I don't mention it. Again in the middle of a forest, there's a castle here, middle of nowhere. It's called Le Chateau de Roquedol.
Anybody home? Nobody home? <laughs> 15 84 So if it's all empty, where did they all go, these pharaohs? Yeah, where did they go? Help! Looks like an enormous swastika thing there. So in those 500 years now, how many descendants did they have and where did they go? The aristocracy, everything belonged to them. Well, they became the Freemasons. So here next to Mont Segur, we can see here the square and compass very clearly in a logo. So these are pharaohs here, Freemasons, and they know that the other Freemasons and pharaohs, they come and buy their stuff here. That's how they do it. Um, another castle in the middle of nowhere. Chateau de la Case. <laughs> 